Hey Silver Tubers, it's Mr. Z coming to you from the Silver Pouring Bench on Tuesday. It's about 9.30 our time here in Oklahoma. Um, got this package in the mail today from my buddy Yago, Yago Silver uh, from Japan. I'm pretty excited. I saw Losing Louie open a uh, box from Yago, I think it was yesterday, and then lo and behold, the next day, this was in my mailbox, and so I'm pretty excited to see what's inside of this coming all the way from Japan. So I'm going to open the bottom just because the top has all the shipping information, but I want to be very careful with this. I don't want to damage any of the contents. Um, he's a really neat guy. I've had many, many wonderful uh, correspondence with him via email, um, and I've enjoyed the insight into... Uh, what he what he is stacking and uh, why he's stacking and he is uh, really trying to uh, I've been very impressed he's really trying to uh, encourage his friends to learn about uh, putting away you know real wealth stacking uh, silver um, it's been a, a wonderful pleasure to get to know him these boxes are so cool. I like the little design on the side. Uh, let's see here. I'm probably opening this in reverse because I opened the bottom instead of the top, but that's okay. I always like to open my cereal boxes from the bottom, so I got the toys first. So, wow, what is this? over to the side I'm gonna I always love getting packages from around the world because you know it's neat to see even even things like the newspaper you know all the different stuff in the newspaper I, even though I don't I can't read it it's still just fascinating to me uh, to see the different languages from around the world and so I'm gonna add it to my newspaper and see uh, I just want to make sure I'm going through the top end of the box uh, which would I want to make sure I didn't miss anything in the top end okay so it doesn't look like I missed anything in the top end but if I did I'll find it when I go through this in very interesting packaging um, very very interesting so let's see what this is it looks like a yeah it's a bag a, this is a bag. It's beautiful. It's got a nice drawstring. Cinch up nice. So let's see what's in this bag of goodies from Yago. We have some bubble wrapped items. We have, oh my gosh. Oh, dude. I'm in trouble. I'm supposed to be keeping my healthy diet, but this is not going to help with that. But you know what, I am going to uh, open this right now. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Kit Kat. Nestle Kit Kat. Oh, it's only 65 calories. There's nothing. You know what? Since I'm, uh, since it's evening and, you know, I'm about to go to bed before long. Interesting, it's a different color. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. That's really good. It's different. It's a different flavor, Kit Kat. I can't quite put my put my finger on what it is, but it's delicious. All right, that's a good way to start an unboxing. All right. And, now I'm talking with my mouth full, which you're not supposed to do. Let's have a look at what we got here. Oh my goodness. What in the world? Look at that beautiful red velvet box. See what this is. Oh yeah. 
This is hands down one of the coolest coins I have ever seen. I saw uh, Losing Louis and I was immediately just awestruck by the mountain and the symbols. And uh, it's a 1964 Olympic coin. Uh, it's a thousand yen. And it is, the mint luster on this thing is just unbelievable. Um, marvelous, marvelous coins. Lovely. Uh, and silver, which, you know, we all love silver. So let's see what he had to say. It says, Dear Mr. Zeke, I was wondering what I could send, but I decided to send this coin with wishing for your health. Oh my gosh. It's such an amazing community. Thank you, Yago. It is one of my collections that have some items, but it is a coin of Ho-Oh Phoenix by Japanese name. Interesting, Ho-Oh. Because it is 100% pure silver, please use it as you like. The other one is a 1964 92.5% Olympic Memorial silver coin and was actually used as legal currency in Japan. It is Jap Japan version junk silver. Oh, okay. Hey, there we go. It's 92.5. and So I would say this would probably be, it's about the size of a dollar uh, or a half dollar actually. And so that would be their version of junk silver, which, you know, that is some beautiful junk silver. I mean, that is just, you know, an amazing specimen. So it's always so neat to get what other countries consider junk silver in their country. So, um, also, please relish Japanese original Kit Kat bar. Laugh out loud. From a Mr. Zeke Silver Pouring Bench fan, Iago. Oh my gosh, my good friend. You have... I never expected this. Let's have a look and see what's in this. Holy mackerel. Oh my gosh, I hope this is coming through clearly. What an amazing coin. Oh, it is breathtaking. I've never, I have, I have ne oh wow. I have never seen anything like this. Look at that. And it's, it's smooth around the edge. It's got a milled edge. It's not reeded. And that is just unbelievable. Yago, my friend, I cannot thank you. I, I, the words I have don't express the gratitude that I feel. That is an absolutely amazing, amazing piece. Thank you so very much, my friend. I am forever indebted to you. I I appreciate it, and I I will relish this. This is going to go in a special place in my vault. That is just an unbelievable. The relief on this thing is wow. To have a piece from your collection is is really amazing, and it it really strikes me deep so thank you very much my friend and I appreciate the well wishes uh, for my health I'm gonna put that right back in the display case and there's that there, this is the original box based on the uh, denomination that is an absolutely it's too much my friend I, I, I don't even know what to say I'm, I, I'm always here if you ever need anything so I appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Zeke, just doing a little unboxing from a great friend of mine, uh, Yago Silver in Japan. So, thank you, sir. And with that, I will bid everyone... Oh, one last thing real quick. Uh, I had a few people ask to see how the, the 5.2 ounce bar came out, how I ended up stamping it. Just a real quick follow-up. I ended up stamping it the person who bought it wanted it stamped like this so it's got kind of a vintage stamp to it um, the top and sides are completely clean uh, and tumbled and the stamp is on the bottom so anyway Yago much appreciated my friend
cannot thank you enough. I am always here if you ever need anything. Um, you certainly uh, outdid yourself, my friend. So, Mr. Zeke, coming to you from the Silver Pouring Bench with one of the most incredible unboxings I think I've ever done. So, cheers, everybody.